The vast, unexplored expanse of interstellar space has long captured the imaginations of scientists and space enthusiasts alike. And when NASA's Voyager 2 probe embarked on its journey beyond the outer planets and into the depths of interstellar space, it captured some of the most incredible and groundbreaking data in the history of space exploration. Join us as we take a thrilling voyage of discovery and delve into the incredible discoveries made by Voyager 2 on its epic journey out of the solar system. You won't want to miss this fascinating and informative video. Whenever we talk about space missions, it's almost impossible that Voyager's name won't erupt from somewhere. The Voyager program is an American scientific program that employs two robotic probes, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, launched in 1977 to make extraordinary revelations about numerous cosmic wonders. Over the years, the data and photographs collected by the cameras, magnetometers, and other instruments aboard both spacecraft have revealed several unknown details about each of the four giant planets in our solar system, and now, both are roaming quietly in the boundless and mysterious interstellar space. Jupiter Voyager 2 was launched from Cape Canaveral in Florida 15 days before its counterpart Voyager 1. Voyager 2 followed a longer and slower trajectory than its partner, and after two years of its launch, it arrived at Jupiter in July 1979. The chapter Jupiter of its journey explored the gas giant and its magnetosphere and studied its moons in greater detail than Pioneer had explored. Voyager 2 returned spectacular photos of the entire Jovian system, and the time-lapse movies made from its images of Jupiter showed how the planet had changed since Voyager 1's visit. The spacecraft studied the Great Red Spot in detail and found that the solar system's largest storm gradually faded away with time. The images of Io revealed changes in the moon's surface and the persistence of its volcanic eruptions. Moreover, it also discovered the 14th moon and revealed a third component of the planet's rings. Jupiter's Great Red Spot The Great Red Spot is a persistent high-pressure region in the atmosphere of Jupiter, producing an anticyclonic storm that is the largest in the solar system. Located 22 degrees south of Jupiter's equator, it produces wind speeds up to 432 kilometers slash 268 miles per hour. Observations from 1665 to 1713 are believed to be of the same storm. If this is correct, it has existed for at least 358 years. It was next observed in September 1831, with 60 recorded observations between then and 1878 when continuous observations began. Saturn Voyager 2 arrived at the beautiful ringed world of Saturn on August 25, 1982. This made it the third spacecraft to visit Saturn after Pioneer 11 in 1979 and its twin Voyager 1 in 1980. Voyager 2 gave another close-range look at Saturn and its moons. Using its photopolarimeter, the spacecraft observed the planet's rings at a much higher resolution which led to the discovery of many more ringlets. It also provided more detailed images of the ring spokes and kinks, the F-ring, and its shepherding moons. After concluding its Saturn tour, it employed a gravity assist maneuver at Saturn to help it reach its next destination, Uranus. Saturn Voyager 2 arrived at the beautiful ringed world of Saturn on August 25, 1982. This made it the third spacecraft to visit Saturn after Pioneer 11 in 1979 and its twin Voyager 1 in 1980. Voyager 2 gave another close-range look at Saturn and its moons. Using its photopolarimeter, the spacecraft observed the planet's rings at a much higher resolution which led to the discovery of many more ringlets. It also provided more detailed images of the ring spokes and kinks, the F-ring, and its shepherding moons. After concluding its Saturn tour, it employed a gravity assist maneuver at Saturn to help it reach its next destination, Uranus. Saturn's Moons During its journey through the outer solar system, Voyager 2 provided us with fascinating insights into Saturn's system of moons. It discovered several new moons orbiting Saturn and made close flybys of several of its larger moons, including Titan, Rhea, Dione, and Enceladus. Voyager 2's observations revealed that Titan, the largest of Saturn's moons, has a dense atmosphere primarily composed of nitrogen, with trace amounts of methane and other gases. It also found evidence of surface features on Titan, such as mountains and valleys, that suggest a dynamic geological history. 
Voyager 2's flybys of Rhea, Deon, and Enceladus revealed these moons to be SE bodies with varied surface features, including craters, ridges, and valleys. The spacecraft also detected evidence of geysers and other volcanic activity on Enceladus, which suggests the possibility of a subsurface ocean and potential for habitability. The data gathered by Voyager 2 has significantly advanced our understanding of Saturn's moons and their unique characteristics. Uranus In January 1986, Voyager 2 arrived at its never-visited-before destination, Uranus. This made it the first spacecraft ever to visit Uranus, and it remains the only spacecraft to have flown by Uranus. During its Jupiter voyage, the spacecraft found evidence of an ocean of boiling water about 500 miles. 800 kilometers, below its cloud tops. Moreover, its sun-facing pole's average temperature was found to be the same as that at the equator. It also discovered 10 new moons, two new rings, and a strangely tilted magnetic field stronger than Saturn on Uranus. The spacecraft also witnessed that the planet is tilted by 98 degrees, indicating it essentially spins on its side. After exploring the Uranus leg of its journey, a gravity assist at Uranus propelled the spacecraft toward its next destination, Neptune. Uranus's Moons During its close flyby of Uranus in 1986, Voyager 2 discovered 10 previously unknown moons orbiting the planet. The largest of these moons is Miranda, which is known for its highly varied terrain, with cliffs as high as 20 kilometers and deep canyons that indicate geological activity in the past. Voyager 2 also found that the moon Ariel has a highly reflective surface, indicating that it may be covered in frost. The moon Titania was found to have a large canyon system and a massive trench, which is one of the largest known in the solar system. Voyager 2 also discovered that the moon Oberon has a heavily cratered surface, indicating that it is one of the oldest objects in the Uranian system. The information gathered by Voyager 2 on Uranus's moons has helped to expand our knowledge of the outer solar system and has inspired Neptune. further exploration. Almost after three and a half years of its Uranus voyage, Voyager 2 arrived at its final destination, Neptune, on August 25, 1989. To date, it is the only human-made object to have flown by Neptune. In the closest approach of its entire tour, the spacecraft passed less than 3,100 miles, 5,000 kilometers, above the planet's cloud tops. As far as Neptune is concerned, Voyager 2 discovered five moons, four rings, and a great dark spot that got vanished by the time the Hubble Space Telescope imaged Neptune five years later. Moreover, it also revealed that Neptune's largest moon, Triton, is the coldest known planetary body in the solar system, with a nitrogenized volcano on its surface. Neptune's Ring Voyager 2 made a historic flyby of Neptune and its moons in 1989, becoming the first and only spacecraft to visit this outermost planet of our solar system. During its close encounter with Neptune, Voyager 2 discovered a complex and dynamic ring system around the planet. The rings are made up of dust and small rock particles, and they are thought to be the result of the disintegration of small moons that were pulled apart by Neptune's gravitational forces. The ring system is divided into several arcs, each with its unique features and characteristics. Voyager 2 also discovered that the ring system is constantly changing, with new material being added and old material is removed. The spacecraft detected several ring features, such as faint dust bands, and some bright arcs that have been named after famous astronomers. Voyager 2's observations of Neptune's ring system have provided valuable insights into the dynamics and evolution of planetary ring systems and continue to be a subject of study for astronomers and planetary scientists. Heliosheath The heliosheath is the region of the heliosphere beyond the termination shock. Here the wind is slowed, compressed, and made turbulent by its interaction with the interstellar medium. At its closest point, the inner edge of the heliosheath lies approximately 80 to 100 AU from the Sun. A proposed model hypothesizes that the heliosheath is shaped like the coma of a comet and trails several times that distance in the direction opposite to the sun's path through space. At its windward side, its thickness is estimated to be between 10 and 100 LU.